So in, in Surah and Nisa, um, mm -hmm. chapter four, 4, verse 157, it says Jesus was not crucified nor killed. Allah just fixed a trick to make it look like Jesus was crucified and killed. It doesn't say that? What, what translation is that? What do you mean? Yeah, what translation are you reading? reading it from, it's saying the verse of it. That's the verse. Which, which Quran translation are you reading from? I've never come across any translation yeah, like that. that I mean, life. I know the Arabic, but I want to know which translation you're reading from. Someone's Facebook post, yeah. Instagram picture. I mean, yeah, fair enough. I'm not reading it from the, right. The, the so Quran, you need to read. It says the verse there. So no, it doesn't say that in the Quran. So you need to read from the Quran, just like you asked me. Okay, so what does this say there? Okay, so this is the chat. This is what it says in, in Arabic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. So translate that to me then. Well, you can read a translation which is already translations that are available. There are more than 40 translations I'm familiar with. I can pick up anything that you like. I mean, this one, would, would you like um, Shakir, Mohsin Khan, Yusuf Ali, Piktal, Asad. Mohsin Khan was my default one. Okay, let's just go and see what Mohsin Khan says. Look. Here we go. So this is what it says in Arabic here. And this is the translation. In, and for boasting, yeah. we killed the Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary, mm -hmm. the messenger of Allah. Yeah. Right? But they neither killed nor crucified him. It was only made to appear so. So that's deception. No, 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 no. no. One second. It was only made to appear would, so. Just by who? Let's, just by let's, let's try to understand something. When you read the text... Even those who argue for this crucifixion are in doubt. They have no knowledge whatsoever, only making assumptions they certainly did not kill him okay. but it literally says okay. there that Allah deceived the Christians uh, into making them think that Jesus died on the cross you just said they didn't so your you, God deceived the Christians you just said so why are you here trying to prophesy I'm, to me I'm trying to you, respond you to your question the works of Allah I'm trying to respond to your question if you allow me right first you said literally say so meaning exactly word for word as it says which it doesn't you've only read a bit which says and it appeared to them so and from reading that text you inferred the meaning to be what you're saying. I am saying your meaning is incorrect and I'll give you several reasons why. For example, if somebody just over there, look that lady there was just trying to see what's happening here. Imagine she perceived you as the princess of Uganda and then she started typing on the Facebook and Instagram on WhatsApp, whatever. Oh my God, I saw the princess of Uganda. Look how beautiful princess of Uganda is here. I didn't know, know that. And then she went in and she started talking about her friends and it went viral in her friend circle. But the fact of the matter is this. That was her mistaken perception. She mistook in her perception to think that you were the princess of Uganda. Yeah? So that's how the perception can be mistaken by people. What the Quran say is this. That there were people who had a mistaken perception that they crucified Christ and the Quran says no. Christ wasn't crucified. He wasn't killed. He wasn't crucified. And for a certain surety, they killed him not. So the Quran tells you what the rumor was and then tells you that this rumor is not correct because God raised him up and they were unsuccessful in killing, crucifying Christ. Quran is not denying any kind of crucifixion any here. Quran is saying there was a rumor that Christ was crucified and Quran is saying that rumor is incorrect. Even before the Quran was revealed to Prophet Muhammad there are many Christians who believe Christ wasn't crucified. Many Christians. The church father... Who's Christians then? No, what, I'm, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, the church also, father had to, what the church foolish. fathers had to write about those people which they thought they were heretical Christians, not believing in the physical death and crucifixion of Christ. They had to warn the other Christians, be wary of those pre-Christians, the Basilidians for example, or these Christians or that Christians, because they don't believe in Christ, because they believe either Simon the Cyrene, who carried the cross, was crucified, or someone else who looked like Christ and look even some of the writing says Christ is sitting on the top of a tree and says look where does it say that some of the writings where what book do you want to know yeah what book does it say that in the bible if it doesn't then I don't care okay it doesn't say in the bible it doesn't say that in the bible then no. I don't care fine that's, that's why I'm saying it said in some of the scriptures what scripture from what book from Listen. what book? Tell me what book. Firstly, we need to understand one thing. The Bible itself that you have today, how many books is it? How many books? Yeah. I don't know exactly. I'm not... Okay. Like I said... Do you I'm know? It doesn't... Okay. I will tell you why it matters. It doesn't matter. 
I will tell you why it matters to okay, me. Tell me why it matters. Uh, yeah. The number of books. Jesus didn't need to um, anything. I will tell you. No, I will tell you why it matters. If you if you hear me out. The Coptic Christians has more number of books than the Protestants. The number of books the Catholics have is more than the Protestants have. So I've given you three examples of believing Christians. The number of books they believe in the Bible is different, right? It's, it's, it's a well-known fact. So what I'm saying is, even, even before Christianity became orthodox as you understand it to be today, there were many people who believed in other scriptures, other gospels. Do you know, was it only four gospels that were written? There were more than four Gospels. Gospel of the Nazarene, Gospel of the Ebionites, Gospel of Infancy, Gospel of Mary, Gospel of Judas, Gospel of St. Thomas, and the list goes on. We know today about 49 Gospels, parts of it here and there are extant, meaning available to us. 49. You will say, the people who wrote those Gospels, apart from the four that is in your Bible, they forged them. They co-opted. Would you not say those other Gospels, like Gospel of Judas, Gospel of St. Thomas, is a forgery? Uh, are you going to say these were inspired book of God? Should it not be in the Bible? You would say no, they're not in the Bible, so we don't believe and accept them to be canonical, accept them to be inspired words yeah, of God. Other faiths, like the Catholics and, and other kinds of like interpretations, they took stuff out of the original Bible, like the Apocrypha, for example. That's, that some of the parts of the Apocrypha were taken out because. I'll, I'll give you a verse actually that will back this up because people prophesize what others want to hear to suit their own desires and their yeah. own stories. I accept with you, this is what people have been doing. Actually. And this is my point. People are writing with their own hands and saying this is from God. And you and I know it's not from God. That's what the Quran is accusing people of. So, Jews and the Christians. They write the books Timothy, with their own hands and say it's from God. Timothy chapter 4 verse 3 mm. it says for the time will come when people will not put up with sound doctrines instead to suit their own desires they will gather around them a great number of teachers to say what their itching ears what want to hear so basically those false prophets and those false pastors or whatever you want to call them the catholics whatever they are prophesizing falseness to suit their own desires like for example them saying that jesus was white he wasn't white how can white come before black it's impossible it doesn't it it just doesn't happen. So I agree with you, there were many enthusiastic believing Christians in Christ. They wrote the books with their own hands and then said, this is the gospel of Christ. Yeah? So we know people were involved in mass scale forgery. That is why you have to now critically ask, the books that I have in my Bible, the Protestant Bible, your Bible, how am I going to be certain that this indeed is the inspired word of God? That's one thing. No, that's what you have to investigate yourself. They spoke to, they spoke to, to Yahweh. Right. Do you now believe that Christ himself identified and said, there is no God besides me. I alone am God and there's none else. So serve me alone. He didn't say that. Can he say that? What do you mean can he say that? Yeah. He didn't say that. No. Is it possible for Christ to say that? No, because he didn't say that. Okay. Furthermore, he's dead, so he's not going to say that. When, when he was around, do you believe he's do, okay? So okay. Do you believe Do you believe he's God? Yes, I do. Okay. How many gods do you believe in? One. Okay. Is Jesus that God? He He came down from the, the heavenly Father brought him down to prophesy in his place because the heavenly Father is spirit. He's not of man, so he had to bring someone down in the form of man for men to understand. When you say this one God, and you said Jesus is God, so Jesus is that one God? Yeah, he is. So besides Jesus, because there's only one God, there is none other. No, yeah. So besides Jesus Christ, so because there's only one God, let's understand the logic and, and yeah, let's understand now what you're saying logically. Because there's only one God, Jesus is God, so Jesus is that one God. So besides Jesus, there is no other gods. So the Father, who is besides Jesus, is not God because only Jesus is God. It's about three dimensions. It's the Holy Trinity. No, Jesus. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit is bound by one. It is one whole thing. It's just separated into three sections. Each just like your God, it, he probably like Yahushua Hamashiach, Jesus Christ. He had arms, my, my he had God legs. is not divisible his arm or divisible. His other arms are two separate things. His torso and his arms are two separate things, but they are bound together. Yes or no? So when you give Ask an example, I am. Yes no? I am going to answer. So his arm. If you, if you allow me, if you allow me. I'm speaking. 
his leg, Yahushua Hamashiach, Jesus Christ, his leg and his arm were two separate things, correct? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. Right. But are they part Is of his arm the leg? So Jesus Christ's arm and his leg are two separate things, correct? Is the arm is the arm Jesus himself? Yes. No, it's a part of him. It's a part of him, yeah. Right. So we need to understand. So, no, so don't interrupt. No, no. Me. So what okay, I'm saying is, is that finish what you're saying, so, and then I will explain to you why. Why, why I this is. I appreciate that. Yeah. So his arm and his legs are two separate things. Yes. On his body. What is his body? One entire thing. Sure. So it is the same with the heavenly Father, with Yah, with Yah, with Yahushua, yeah. his son, and the heavenly Father Yahweh. They are two separate things, but they are bound as one by the Holy Trinity. You have the, the Heavenly Father, the Son, Yahushua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, Rak HaKodesh. And it is a one whole united thing. Okay. It is one God in three separate things. Okay. You see, let me give you another example. I have three fingers in my hand. How many fingers? One, two, three. Yeah. My three finger is not my hand. There's still three fingers. Part of your hand. Part of our hand. So this is the concept that now we need to explore a bit more. But Parts. Push your hand as a whole. Yeah. It's the, the, hand. The, the whole is the hand, but individually there are fingers. Two three. Other fingers yeah, there are five fingers. Hand. Right. Is one finger individually my whole hand? No. Good. So if we now talk about individually, Jesus, the Father, and the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. is the Father individually God? The Father is God. Yes. Individually. Yahweh is God, yes. Individually, not collectively. Remember, there's a Father, yes. Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yes, He is individually okay. God. If He's individually God, so how much of God is He? 100%. One full God. Yeah. Not a part. But Yahushua HaMashiach was brought down by one, the heavenly Father. Sorry, one moment, one moment, just to explode you. If the Father is 100% God, that's one God, not half God. Jesus said, if you have seen me, you have seen my Father. We he can explain that a little bit later, but let's talk about it's this relevant. concept. It's relevant to what you're saying right now. Jesus Christ, Yahushua HaMashiach said mm. that I am, I, through me, if you have seen me, you have seen my Father. Did they see the Son ever? Did they see the Son? Yeah. Did they see the Son? Did they see the Son? Who's they? People. Yes. No. The Son of God. No. What did he say? If you've seen me, who do you see? He said, I am the great I am. No, no, no. You, you're jumping from one to the other. When he said, if you see me, who do you see? God. No. He didn't actually say that. To be he fair. says, if you he see said, me, you see me. I am, I am my father. Father. So let's, let's not understand that. If Jesus Christ said, if you see me, you see thee. No, no. You, with you Muslims, you go around in circles. Actually, you are the one brought this up. I wasn't even talking about this thing. So let's go back. Let, let, let's go back. Let's go back. The, the father is 100% God. So how much of God what is he? Is he one God or half God? Or a one third he's God. God? He's God. There's no half. That he's God. God, End right. Of. Yeah. Is he one God? When he's, when he's God? Yes, he's, he's God. Right. But is he one God though? Yes. Right. So we have the Father being one God. Clear? Yeah. The Son. Is he also one God? The Son. Is he one God? Is he also one God? Yes. So how many gods do we have so far? One. No. Try again. One. Try again. We have the Father is one God. Please don't laugh. This is not a joke. If you, if you, if you cannot and have a conversation here, you, you, you're not even worthy of listening. Apologize to the lady. Never, ever, ever admit right. to there being two gods. There's no such thing. You must not admitting. It's the concept. What If I believe this tripod is God and you say, how can you believe in that God? I say, no, 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 no. Um, I believe in a God. You, we have to make sense of what we believe in our statement. So the Father is God. That's one God. You said so. One God. Not half a God. One God. And then you say the Son is one God. One God and one God is two gods. It's not difficult for you to say that, but, but you know that... It's the Holy Trinity, it's the, the Son, it's the, the no, Father, no, no. the Son and the Holy Spirit, they are one. Okay, together, maybe my misunderstanding... Okay, let me, let me say, to, let me say to, the, to you this So then. together... Are we, are we flat? Are you looking at me? Am I flat? Or when I spin, can you see three dimensions of me? Mm -hmm. When I spin... Can you see one, two, three dimensions? I can yeah? see. I can see. Yeah, you know about you. Yeah, 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 yeah. And maths and all that. Okay. Yeah. Do you? Everyone and everything on this earth is three-dimensional objects. Whether we are humans, whether. Tell me about the fourth humans. dimension. Huh? Tell me about the fourth dimension and the fifth and the sixth. There is no such thing. Well, you need to go and read them about it. There are lots of dimensions, really? other than okay. three. Okay. So your your analogy of a trinity with three dimensions fails because there are more than three dimensions. So let's go back to this example about three. Let's go back to this example because Water you can help me out, right? One second. One second. He's completely calm. Please. When you say Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, they are one God. Yes. 
They're one God when they're together, they right? They are by one. Together they're one God? Yes. So the one God is the Godhead, the community, okay. yeah, the institution, the family. Father, Son and Holy Spirit together, if that is an organization or an institution okay, or a way, family. they're not all people, just to let you know, the Father is Spirit. He has the Holy Spirit inside him. He brings the Holy Spirit into people's hearts yeah. so they can also have power to spread the gospel. The Father is not the Son. Father is not the Holy Spirit. They're different. They're distinct. So when you have together, that's they one. one. They are bind. No, together that they're one, right? Together, yeah. They, they, they so that's what you mean by one God. So now I'm going to talk about individually. Is the Holy Spirit individually one God? No. So it's the not Holy God. Holy Spirit then. is spirit. Is the is the Son Jesus individually one God? He, he, there's one God. There is only no, no. one God. The one God is when they're together. That's the Trinity. The Trinity together, three in one, is the one God. He said, "If you see me, you have seen my Father." Did they see I the Son? I am the Great. I Did they am. see the Son? Yes, because no. Yahushua Mashiach is the son of no. God. No, yes, because he, he says... He if, says it himself. Okay, what did he say? If you see me, you see the son? He said, if you see me, you see my father. Yeah, who do they see then when they see him? God. No, he says, who if you see me... Who is the father? According to the text, no, if you see me... Mary wasn't impregnated oh, by please, anyone. Please. If you see me... Virgin, you know, so you read... Got father. His father is the, holy, is, the, is the holy father of heaven. If you see me, Jesus says you see the father, not the son. You read the text and you go against this meaning. So what I'm asking you is this. Did Jesus say who the only true God is ever? Did you identify who that is? Did you identify who that is? Yeah. He never says I am God, no. No, no. Did he identify who the only true God is in his three, three years of ministry? I mean, to be fair, I'm still reading the Old Testament. But okay. from what I'm reading... In the New Testament, did he say... I have and read I, the New Testament. Okay, in the New Testament, in the New Testament, Jesus says, the Father, who is your Father too, His Father and your Father, He says, I go to my Father and your Father, so His Father is your Father is the same. He says, the Father is the only true God, and Jesus Christ is the one who is sent. So Jesus Christ identified who the true God is. It's not Him, it's not the Holy Spirit, it's only the Father, who people call God. Do you accept what I just said now? According to Jesus, the only true God is not the Trinity, not the three persons, but one person. This is John 17, verse 3. Yeah. Okay, so in John 8, in, in John chapter 8, verses 58, Jesus, Jesus answered them, I solemnly declare before Abraham came to me, I am. So this means that that was the name that God gave himself when he first communicated with Moses in Exodus 3, um, in Exodus chapter 3, verse 14. God replied, I am who I am. Then he added, this is what you shall tell the Israelites. I am sent me to you. Sorry, are you confusing reading the Exodus and New Testament together? Uh, what, what am I supposed to understand from it? What, Mate, I, it's a verse from the Bible. What are you not no, understanding? No, you're confusing two different texts, the old and the new, and merging it together. But they're, one, they're, they're still in one book. Though, Jesus Christ, one? Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ said, the only true God is the Father. So, do you agree with Jesus Christ? Yeah. So, according to Jesus Christ, who is the only true God? Sorry? According to Jesus Christ, who you agree with, yeah. who is the only true God? Jesus Christ is God. He no. is the great according, I am. Okay. Do you agree with Jesus Christ? To you again. No, no, no. It's not about reading. John I asked you a question. Maybe your friend can help. Jesus according to saying, I solemnly your declare husband can help? before Abraham came to be, I am. What does he mean by I am? That is the name that God that? gave himself no, before yeah, yeah. I'll tell you. when he communicated to Moses. If he says before Abraham, I am, and he was flesh, how can he be before Abraham if he's, if he's flesh? Well, I can answer that if you want. Go on, go on, but go before we do that, can we just wrap this question up? According to Jesus Christ, the only true God is the Father. Do you agree with Jesus? Say that again. According to Jesus Christ, as reported in the New Testament, in John 17 verse 3, the only true God is the Father. Do you agree okay, with Jesus Israel, Christ? There is only one God, yeah. God, yeah. Go on. No, no, no. Do you agree with Jesus Christ that the only true God is one person, the I Father? Quote, I just quote in scripture, it says, Hear, O Israel, there is only one God. To worship Him with all the heart, with all the strength, with all That's the soul, not what I'm with saying. all the mind. 
Well, I'm answering your, I'm answering your question. But I'm you asking you... You answer the way you want me to answer. No. Because you have your let me, let me clarify my question. That's the thing. Let me, just ask let me clarify my question. You misunderstood my question. According to Jesus Christ, how many person is the only true God? According to Jesus Christ, how many person is the only true God? How many persons? Yeah. Oh, but you're not asking the right question. I'm asking you a question? Okay, okay. I'm going to answer the question with a question. He no, answer up, answer I'll answer the question with a question. When Philip said to him, um, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us, and he says, how long have I been with you? He who has seen me has seen God. Does that answer your question as well then? No, it doesn't. So now tell it's me how many how you don't want it the way and you see how No, I just told you, it doesn't answer my question. No, so now you tell me though? how many person Okay, well, you see how it can go. So who here can say he who has seen me has seen God? Look, look. So if you want me to address your question like that, I can answer that. No problem. But I would like you to be sincere enough to answer the question I asked one you. Let me get how many question, person according to Christ is the only true God? Okay, okay can I just no, say no, this? No, no, John cha John chapter ten, verse thirty. I and the Father are one. That is what Jesus Christ said. Do you want me to address that as well? I can answer any of those and address that. Okay, but, but you I'm, are not I'm addressing... with scripture. So okay. As long as you're addressing it back with scripture, yeah. I will agree with you. If you don't address it with scripture, unless you can expand... I just told you, John 17.3. John 17.3 says, This is eternal life, that they should know you, the Father, the only true God, and Christ Jesus whom you have sent. Yeah, so according to Jesus Christ, the only true God is... One person who is he identified he as the father. I and the father are one. No, I can address that, but let's address John 17 3. John 17 3, do you agree with Jesus Christ that the only true God is one person who is the father? There is only yes. one God, absolutely. I agree no, not one God, one person. There is only one God. No, this is not my question. Isn't a person. No. You see, God is not a person, not but we know that God is not a person. Yeah. That's why he do you believe in the Trinity? Know, in human okay. form. Do you believe in the Trinity? Absolutely. Yeah, so, what is the Trinity? What's the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. What, are you what is about? the Father and Son? What's the difference between them? What are they? Then well, one, is human, God, one, you know. one what is human. One is human and one is not human. I know that one. I know that one. Show me from the scripture. That one God one says. One is spirit and well, one is human. You know. This wait, wait, is what wait, I mean. Wait, this one is second. The do you know? Do you know about Deuteronomy? One second. Can you quote? I'll show you. Do you know what Ikhad means? Can you quote? Ikhad. You just asked me a question about Trinity. Oh, you speak Hebrew, do you? Do you speak Hebrew? I'm asking you a question, bro. Don't ask me a question. Do you know what Ikhad means? Okay, I'm, I'm going okay, to answer. Everyone, and I'm going to answer. Is, is, is a, is a, is no, he, he's answering himself. You asked yeah, me, I'll answer. Okay, Firstly, Ikhad, that you're asking me to answer, is a Hebrew word. For so what, what I... What does it mean? What I want you to establish first of all that you're familiar with the Hebrew language before you answer it because if I'm not going to give you a Hebrew answer are you going to yeah, be able to understand it? Do you speak Hebrew? Do you read Hebrew? Right, so your understanding of Hebrew is just like mine some words here and there to understand what it says right? So Ikhad, what you're saying is here it means a composite one this is what you're going to say? No, no, no. It means compound. It's a compound union. Remember? Compound, composite. Union. It compound mean, union. Right. Union. Yeah. union. Of union. what? Because you, thank you. Okay. You, of what? Of thank what? You. Now, when do they also use that word? It's hard. Okay. Let me answer the question to you. Go on. By scripture. God says in Isaiah, before me, there was no God form. No. Let me, let, you see that? He, he's so afraid to even hear the scripture. After me, there was no, there will be no God form. I alone am God and there is none that does, else. That does let me finish. Hard, let me let me finish. I'm <laughs> quoting scripture just like your wife was quoting scripture. Okay, I've not now. So now, who is this I and me in this unity? In this communion? In this compound that you explain? Someone in this community, in this union, is saying, I alone am God and none else. Who is that I who is speaking? I alone am God and there is no else. Okay. Either it is Jesus, the Son, either it is the Father, it is the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Help us to understand who is speaking. Okay, now watch this. I asked him about it. I don't even want to do this nonsense. Well, look, I said about Ikhad. So he's going to answer who's speaking, right? Well, I said about a simple, a simple thing. I said, what does Ikhad mean? Ikhad means it's a compound union. It means unity. Union, yeah? More than one. Now, when I said, where else do you see this in Scripture? Where else do you see this in scripture? And I'll tell you where you see it in scripture. It says, therefore a man shall leave his father and his mother and be joined to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. When you hear that one flesh, that is the word ikhad. But you're hearing a man and a woman being joined together as one flesh, ikhad. So when in this um, scripture, now let me go back. When in this scripture it says, 
I have no problem you with explaining Echad means a unity like that. That's why I said, given that understanding of yours, when God, someone says, I alone am God, there's none else, I would like you to explain to everyone here and help us understand who that is. Because he said about Trinity. He said about Trinity, so let me explain Trinity, because this is Old Testament. And in the Old Testament, actually, no, let me even say in the Old Testament, watch this. Deuteronomy 6.4. Hear, O Israel, Yahuwah, it says the Lord, but his name is Yahuwah. Yahuwah, our Elohim, is one, Ikad. Ikad, it doesn't mean one, and what does one, you know one, come on, you're smart enough to know one in Hebrew isn't the same as Ikad. So when you see that word Ikad, he is saying, I am Ikad, I am a union. Okay, so what did I say in response? I said, let's give you that interpretation. Okay, Even, because because I don't want to correct you there because it's going to go long. I give you the interpretation, and I say, given the interpretation, now Isaiah says God is saying, I alone am God, and there's none else. I look at that script, and I'll bring it back. Because I can show you the script right now. No, 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 no. I mean, no, no, I mean no. as in Hebrew as well. I mean as in. Hebrew. I can give you the Hebrew right now. Listen, listen, I, mean, listen, I can give you the Hebrew. Uh, we don't shake hands. Um, with respect. Respect. Yeah. Only man to man. As a woman. Oh, woman. No, 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 Even no, no, with no, no, no. other women. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so there you go. I can, I can shake his hands. This is showing signs of respect. I can shake hands with my mother, my wife, my sister, my daughter. Yeah, but not, not with other women. Um, so it's not just um, Christian women, Jewish women, atheist women, any woman. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, guys. So just to wrap this up, then those who are listening, and, and we'll try to understand what the discussion was. We were trying to understand from the Christian perspective in how they understand their scripture. When you go deep to, to, to unpack some of those things, it's quite clear that they're not willing to entertain these critical questions. Like I asked several times, according to Christ, God is only one person and they believe in three persons. Because they say Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. But they're not willing to address that. And then just keep on going answering this. What about that statement? That's you know, I am the father of one. Yes. What about the water? Yes. Come forward. What about the water argument? Like if you would compare the, the Trinity. Did God use that argument? No, no, I'm just I'm just